What's going on guys, welcome back to Cheeky Crypto, I'm JB and today we're going to have a look at Polygon's Matic across the, the one hour, the one day and the one week timeframes. Have a look what's happened, what's likely to happen next. Matic is in, you know, it's in quite a good position just now so we'll dive into the structures of it. Before we do, please do smash up the like button, subscribe, tap on the bell selecting all of the notifications so that you never miss a video coming to you from Cheeky Crypto and of course by doing that it does feed the algorithm, it really does help the channel out and of course we do appreciate when you guys help the channel out. But let's not waste any time, let's get straight down into this for today. Polygon's Matic paired up with USDT, BitGet is the data source for this one hour chart. So Previously we looked at this, there were lots of structures on the charts. What I've done for simplicity is I have cleaned everything out of the charts and we can go through what has went on for Matic. We have obviously seen great push to the upside here. And by all accounts, it does not look like this push to the upside is yet finished. We will dive into this one shortly. First of all, we'll look at it through the lens of smart money concept here on the one hour chart. We do have a weak low, we do have a strong high. So smart money concepts by itself is not expecting this to push on up any further. We can see though we are trading above the 200 EMA previously over here on the 8 o'clock last night it would have been a UTC plus one. We can see we did come down to test the 200 EMA we have bounced from here and if we zoom into the charts just now we can see we are kind of ranging between the 21 and the 50 EMA here on the hourly chart. So overall it's in a bit of a range for the price action. Now when this push to the upside there's two ways we can look at this one. Overall, we have a wave one down at the bottom here. We came down into its wave two. Now, for all accounts, it does look like the wave three is complete here. We are in the wave four and we could expect one final push to the upside in the fifth wave. However, we could also look at this as the fifth wave being complete with the wave three coming here, the wave four down, and we had this explosive fifth wave, eh, sorry, this explosive third wave leading into this fifth wave to the upside. However, I think we may have another potential push to the upside to come, maybe one last um, rally for Polygon's Matic. Now, if we look at this as the wave three overall, we would expect this wave four to come down to test 59.74 cent to as low as 57.79 cent. Your typical retracement is between the 0 0.382 and the 0 0.5 fib levels. We can see obviously we have came down tested just higher than this area giving me the idea that we are perhaps in this A, B and C structure to the downside or probably more looking like a W, X and Y structure. But for ease, we will put this on as an A, B and C. Now to really target this one out to the downside, we can see we have came down into this typical area for the C wave between the 1 to 1 retracement and the 1.236, that obviously coming at 60.90 cent and 59.78 cent. I've just realized that's probably very hard to see on the YouTube screen, so I will zoom into this one. Taking the 100% move of this A wave up to the B wave high, we can expect to see this C wave to the downside, this blue C wave coming down into this area between the 1 to 1 and the 1.236, where we can see we have came down into this area and found a bit of support. Bouncing up from the 200 EMA as we previously discussed, we can also take note the stochastic position is starting to reset. It is the weekend, so obviously we can expect, you know, a bit of a sideways range over the course of this weekend, leading into Sunday, a bit more of an explosive move, I do think. But I do think we have got the potential for another push to come to the upside. Now, if this is complete down here, which it looks like it may be, obviously we'd have to give it a few more hours, perhaps another day to actually understand if this is complete or not. We have the potential to come up here to test the 68.09 cent to as high as 70.77 cent, where once again we will be testing the previous wick high here um, at 70.18 cent. Now when we zoom back out on this chart, we can then take note of what the structure would actually look like, starting over here as the wave one, down into its wave two, all this move up here would be an explosive wave three. We are currently in the wave four, potentially starting to push up in that fifth wave where we could be targeting out this move here once again to 68.09 cent to as high as 70.78 cent. I do think if we do manage to push up to this level, this is the last push to the upside formatic in this Y wave. It has been a very explosive move to the upside. We can see that. I think we are, you know, getting there, guys. I do think it's almost time to maybe be thinking about your positions if you have made some healthy profits on here. Of course, this is not financial advice, it's just my thoughts, but if you have made fantastic um, returns on this one, you know, it may be time to take some profits. I'll leave it up to you guys to decide. 
Now the structure overall would be a 3-3-5 corrective structure to the upside as this W, X and Y, where we can see in the W wave we have this W, X and Y. Once again, this was also a 3-3-5. We also came down in the WXY, which once again was a 3-3-5 correction to the downside, where in the Y wave, we would obviously expect a 5 wave structure where we can see we do have this. So whether or not this 5 wave move internally is complete, you know, I do think we have the potential to push up one last time. Whether or not we do get to see this push up to 6 to 8 to 7 to cent, I think it would be a bit of a hard task. Maybe come back up once again to test this previous strong high we do have on the charts. Um, at 66.49 cent, a double top for this push to the upside. But overall, I do expect to see the price formatic push up. Failure to breach this high we have on the charts here at 66.49 cent, that we will know that we are starting to move to the downside. So one way or another, I do expect to see the price push up here. One other area I will highlight on the charts here is between 65.70 cent coming down to 63.212. Now, this would be the typical retracement of this previous move to the downside coming um, over here in this A, B, and C structure. If we push up to here and we find consolidation here, then we know that this, in fact, would be the wave 5, the wave 3 finished here, and this yellow wave 5, in fact, finished over here. So we have two areas of interest. First of all, coming here, if we fail to breach the 66.49, then we know we are starting this move to the downside. If we can breach the 66.49, then we know we are in this fifth wave overall. This structure to the upside is not a fantastic structure overall. It is very overlappy. I don't like it um, as a structure. But if we were to piece this together, we would have a wave one, a wave two, coming up here in a wave three, down into its wave four, and over here we would have the wave five, if I could snap this onto the correct one, where we have done so here. So we can see the idea that this move to the upside is indeed just a wave three, with this five wave move internally, coming down in this ABC as the fourth wave, which we are looking at just now, with the potential for this push to 68 to 70 cent, so we have our areas that we are obviously going to pay attention to from Batic. Once again, failure to breach 66.49 cent. It tells us that we are in the next move to the downside and we can expect quite the retracement for Matic. But taking note of the position of the 8 hour stochastic RSI is looking for that next move to the upside. When we come up to the 4 hour, we can see the 4 hour, you know, it's starting to move to the upside, but the volatility is dropping to the downside, as we do expect for the weekends. When we look at the 8 hour chart once again, we can see very oversold, looking for that push to the upside, giving us the idea that we could be seeing the price formatic push up to 68 to 70 cent on the 1 hour chart. Now, as we move up to the one day chart, we can overall see that we are still within this wave four. Yes, we are pushing a little bit higher. Where, once again, I do think on this Binance daily chart, we could see the price action push on up to test the 200 EMA, which ironically falls right upon equilibrium. And we can see the 200 EMA coming at 69.1 cent. If we quickly drop this back down to the one hour chart, well, we can see this fifth wave would take us up to 68 to 70 cent, where the one day 200 EMA falls right in between here, giving us the idea that this W, X and Y is not yet finished. If we were to look at this fully here, we'd have this W, X wave, and we are in this Y wave to the upside, where internally we do have the wave one, wave two, wave three, down in its wave four currently, and we are looking for that final fifth wave push to test out that 200 EMA here. Where from here, I know it's probably the most unpopular opinion, but I do think it is the opinion that we are still going to see the prices claw back for Polygon's Matic. T currently targeting out 44.58 cent to as low as 35.99 cent here on this one day chart. Lastly, we'll jump over to the one week chart. And the weekly is still very much within its structures. We can definitely see what is going on here for the weekly close position. The bears and the bulls will be fighting this one out quite ferociously here. The 21 EMA in the yellow line current coming at 64.76 with the 200 at 65.78. The bears and the bulls will want to fight this one out. The bulls trying to bring it higher, especially than the 200 EMA falling at 65.78 right here. So we can see the test is currently happening. Currently finding a bit of rejection on the 200. But, you know, volatility is there. Maybe not here that shows on the weekly chart, but on the lower time frames, I do think volatility will pick up coming into Sunday especially. We can maybe see this rally on one last time before the inevitable drop to the downside. Where on the weekly chart, it, is, it does sound absolutely insane, absurd. 
that overall I am still looking for the bear market low to break for Matic. I still expect the price to come down. Overall, in this bear market, we are looking at the potential 16.95 to 10 cent for Matic. We have a previous area of support and demand on that push to the upside coming between 16.2 cent and I think it's 9.9 .9 cent. So we have the idea that we could still see this price break down for Polygon's Matic. The current bear market low at 31.6 cent from all the way back in June 2022. With the idea here that we are in this ABC structure, in this... Um, B structure, sorry, the C wave here, we do expect to see a five wave move to the downside. So overall, I still expect to see lower prices for Matic within this bear market, but let's not be shrewd about this one. We can obviously look ahead and I think Matic does have that potential to be explosive once again in the next bull market. Now we can see the previous run to the upside with the 111,000% 1, gains. It was a five wave impulsive move. Now we know if we have five waves guys, we do not see five waves in isolation. We would then expect a three wave retracement where we can see we have this three wave retracement in the current bear market, which tells us in this next bull run to expect another five wave move to the upside, overall giving us that A, B and C structure, which I do think we're going to see in this next bull market. Now we can be presumptuous and look for that 100x potential. And Matic is, you know, it's a firm, it's firmly up there that this could be a 100x potential. Let us know if it's going to be in your portfolio, guys. It will certainly be in mine. I do think Matic will be fantastic in this next bull market, especially if we can see it coming down to these like 17 cent levels. We would expect to see this impulsive move to the upside, where I think Matic has potential to, you know, to make each investor a hell of a lot of money in the next bull market. We could potentially be seeing Matic push to $100 even as high as 556. I think that 556 would be a big ask to do so. Even the $100 level will be a big ask, but overall, I do think Matic has potential to do fantastically well. It will have a substantial place in my portfolio, but let us know in the comments down below, guys. Are you investing in Matic? Are you trading Matic? Where do you see Matic going in this bear market? And also, where do you see Matic, Matic going in the next bull run? Please do let us know in the comments down below. It is always fantastic to hear what you guys think. Before you do leave today, please do smash the like button, subscribe, tap on the bell. It always helps the channel out when you guys do so. If you are going to trade, please do trade safely. Have a nice tight stop loss. Make some great gains. Stay safe in the space. Apologies for my nasally voice. I have the cold. I'm trying to shake it off. Guys, I hope you all have a fantastic weekend and I will see you in the next one.